So this summer we held an engineering school with the uh, engineering department and with help from Unique uh, and it was an opportunity for aspiring young engineers from schools across the country to come up to Oxford and spend time with tutors and lecturers and it was a great success um, and of course dependent entirely upon the generosity of alumni and help from the university and it's the sort of thing we'd like to do much more of in the future. The Unique Summer School is, is one of our flagship outreach and access activities aimed at attracting students from the state sector to, to the study of engineering at Oxford. We, we bring them to Oxford for, for a week to hear about engineering, to participate in lectures, carry out laboratories and, and activities, uh, demonstrating to them what engineering is all about and hopefully inspiring them to carry out or, or complete engineering at university, hopefully at Oxford. If you're good at it, you're good at it, and it doesn't matter what your background is. So um, we're trying to pick out those people who really have a knack for maths and physics and um, applied science and, and get them to apply here at Oxford and really to engineering in general. So today I was building a bridge, which we designed yesterday. That was so fun. So yesterday was more mathematical calculations and then today was more practical and we got to build it and work with sheet metal and all the machinery in order to come out with kind of a beam-like bridge. And then on Thursday we get to test it, which is really exciting because we see how everyone's designs compare to each other. There's so much opportunity to design and create and every, no day is the same. Like I've spoken to a lot of engineers and they say that every day you're facing loads of different problems and I like, I like being challenged and I like having the opportunity to just apply my maths and my physics to real life problems. So the engineering course at Oxford is based in, in the Department of Engineering Science. So it's a really broad based degree which covers lots of different disciplines within engineering. Um, and as such, we believe that although you can specialise um, towards the end of the four year degree, um, all the engineers receive the same training in the first two years. And this covers, as you would expect, fundamentals in mathematics and physics, also in electronics and in energy systems. Um, and those topics are examined at the end of the first year and the second year. The students that apply are in the lower sixth form, so uh, 16, 17 year olds, um, and they are UK state school uh, students. We've tried to pack so much into the programme to give them a real understanding of what it is like to be here as an undergraduate at Oxford. Living here and experiencing it from, for themselves gives them that confidence that actually this is what they want, uh, they, it is within their um, uh, range and they, they know exactly what the admissions process is looking for. So to study engineering science at Oxford um, it's important to study maths and physics to the highest level, to A level if you like. Um, further maths at A level is also helpful but it's not essential um, uh, to study on the course. Um, in fact the first year is designed so that people with varying levels of mathematical study can come to the same level um, and participate in the core course in the second year of the degree um, together. It's kind of copying what Freshers Week in university life is like. So the, so the students start off kind of quite shy, talking to each other in small talk, and then by the end of the week they don't particularly want to leave and they've made some, such great friends. But moreover than that, they've gained quite a lot of confidence. They have to do a five minute presentation at the end of the week and they transform from being effectively school children to more of a bridge between what university life is like. On this summer school, I've learned a lot more about um, structural engineering and from my experience, I've not done a lot in that field. I've always kind of focused on aerospace and that's kind of allowed me to have a look in different fields because now I'm kind of considering structural as well as aeronautical. So it's kind of like letting me have a look at all the different types of fields that engineering has to offer. All of the mentors here have been really, really friendly. I've, you know, the meals have been great and the accommodation and been really enjoyable so far. I think the city is great. Um, built more built up than I expected it to be but still has that historical edge. Staying in Wadham I think is also really cool. Room's amazing, a lot bigger than my one at home and also really enjoyed the food so far. Summer schools this year are funded through the university itself. Um, the engineering summer school has been doubled in size this year thanks to the generosity of donors who are alumni of Wadham College and so we're very grateful to all the funders for their assistance with uh, supporting the summer school. I think I would uh, consider applying to Oxford because I think it's 
you know, a world-class institution. I think the education you get here is probably unrivaled by many universities and, you know, not just the quality, but the people you're surrounded by as well, the tutorial system and, you know, just the college as a, as a whole to be in that environment is, you know, very rewarding, demanding, but rewarding, I feel. Well, I haven't been to Oxford before, so this is like my first time here and I've absolutely loved it. Um, the colleges are just beautiful and the food's amazing, the people are so nice and the mentors are extremely helpful and it's all just kind of made me actually want to apply to Oxford next year, so I'd definitely like to do it. The reason we need to continue with this work, the reason we need to develop it is that although uh, there are many, many applications for each place at Oxford. We still don't get enough applications from young men and women at comprehensive schools, uh, for example. So uh, we, we don't accept, we think it's ridiculous to assume that the cleverest young people are bunched in the most expensive schools. That's clearly not the case. There are clever young people in all schools, all types of schools around the country, and we need to reach more of those young people uh, who are not applying to Oxford, but who are clearly clever enough, have the ability and the potential, uh, are quite capable of coming here uh, and doing well here.